Also, my colleague in the assembly, New York State Assemblyman Andrew Rea, who also joined us. And our light welterweight champion, Chris Algier. joined this evening by the chairwoman of the Huntington Republican Committee, Tony T. <laughs> Paul Ehrlich, who is the president of the Huntington Library District. <laughs> and of course, my former colleagues, who are still very near and dear to me from the South Huntington School Board. Um, Jim Kanan is on in route with the president of the school board. We also have Nick Ciapetta, who is not only my campaign manager, but vice president of the South Asian School Board. Lisa Brief is here also from the school board. Give her a round of applause. Has done over his life. Um, it, it's great. And you know, we, we honor not only as an athlete, but also someone who's been very active in the community. And um, Senator Marcelino and Senator Flanagan send their praise also and want to congratulate you too. And Senator Flanagan got to run into you a few weeks ago at the Stony Brook homecoming. But everyone has been impressed and all of you achieved. First of all, you're a local hometown person, growing up in Huntington, living in Greenlawn. You attended St. Anthony's High School, where you were captain of the wrestling team. And then you went on to Stony Brook, and of course, receiving a master's finally at NYIT. So obviously, not only are you dedicated to the athletic world, but also academic world and we know that you're going to go very far in everything that you've done. When Senator Flanagan was very impressed because not only do we know him as the light welterweight champion underneath the WBO, give him a round of applause for that. Come on. But also someone that has gone back to the schools that he's participated in, whether it's St. Anthony's or back at Stony Brook, and gave back to those communities, including setting up a scholarship this past homecoming that will help people go into the field. Um, I, many of you know that I'm also an educator, and in one of my state and local government classes, we were discussing the campaign trail and going door to door and fundraising, and I just wanted to um, bring up, it was when I mentioned Chris Algieri's name, one of my students, he just kind of froze. It's an eight o'clock class, and most students are falling in and out of consciousness at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, but he you know, rose up, and he said that he wanted to follow Chris Algieri's footsteps, and that he was looking up to him. And, he, and I did invite him here tonight, but unfortunately his work schedule got in the way. But not only do you see him inspiring people and athletes, but also younger athletes and people that are in school and want to achieve greater things. So this is something that is so special and so great to our society and to our community. Well, when we look back at the Algeria name, I know we have quite a few Algerians in here. Raise your hand if you're an Algerian or a derivative of an Algerian, right? So, we actually have, when you look at the Algerian Lupinacci name, my great grandmother was an Algerian, and our grandfathers are first cousins. And when I first came to work, my first, one of my first jobs was in the town of Huntington. And I got to work in the highway department. And I got to work alongside his father, Dominic. And it was a great, uh, great time because he taught me a lot working in the town. And not only that, we were both on the non-carbohydrates diet that summer. So we go to Burger King, and we would order like seven hamburgers, and then remove the bread. You remember that time? Like, when we go to the drive and everything. So obviously, he has great parents who are very active in the community. Dominic, and of course, they ran his dad for that great introduction and giving you guys a little bit of background. And thank you to all of you guys for coming out tonight. Um, here I am back at the Paramount once again. I. Um, even if I wanted to get away from this place, which I don't, um, you know, I couldn't, because this is this is my hometown. This is where I grew up, and as far as we make it, you know, I always want to make sure that I come back to the community where I grew up. Chad talked about a little bit about education, and um, it really is truly vital for future of the, of the community and, and 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 people in general. And um, what the response that I've gotten from other young people. You know, like Chad was mentioning about um, one of his students um, in terms of athletics and, and academics has been a lot of, of, of background and, and importance and, and, and meaning to everything that I've been doing. 
you know, I would love for kids to, to realize that you don't have to choose athletics or academics over the other. You know, you can do both. And um, if I can be someone that they look to that, that has been someone to do that, that would, that would be really be an honor for me. And um, from what I've seen uh, from other students and other kids coming up, it, it, that's kind of where we're going. I'd like to keep that going. And as I said, I think education is truly vital for, for the community and just for the future of, of, of all of us in general. And the fact that I'm able to come back here and, and, and speak to my, my home people is, is an incredible experience for myself. And I just want to thank you guys for all coming out tonight. And you know, good luck with everything. And thank you. And see you guys. I'm sure again soon. Jerry Cooney, who is um, obviously a contender for the heavyweight, he's a, lo a local person too because he graduated from Walton High School. When we were on the school board, we honored him in the Walton Hall of Fame. Um, he was going to try to make it here to see you this evening, but he did write an email that I'm going to read out. He goes, hello, Chris. I'm very proud of your accomplishments as a fighter and as a man. It's truly been a pleasure following your career and watching you become a champion. Through adversity, you grabbed a hold of yourself and took charge. I remember back in, when ESPN asked how I felt about there being a new kid in town, and I told them that I was glad to get out of the way. I, it's been an honor to get to know you and watch you grow. All the best in your upcoming fight. Keep punching, Jerry Cooney. And I are going to now present you with the Assembly Proclamation which is the highest honor that the Assembly gives. So on behalf of 19.5 million New Yorkers, we want to thank you for not only being an inspiration in the athletic world and all that you achieved, but of course good luck as you go overseas to fight, and thank you for all you've done for the community.